Welcome. Oh, I'm so glad I can find a customer like you. As you can tell, this is, um, a shop. Just only for dolls. If you found the right doll for you, then just call me and I'll get it out for you. You see, I sometimes put these dolls in glass cases. There were some incidents where my store got robbed. You know. Yeah, I know it's really strange how people rob a, what, a doll shop? Yeah, I know it's crazy. I mean, I mean, <laughs> of all the stores those people could possibly rob, they decide to rob a doll shop. So, I'm sure we had three robberies. And I guess that was the third straw. So, <laughs> so basically, um, we put them in glass cases. We got different varieties of dolls, such as, you know, the uh, silicone. Um, we have some that, you know, the old school dolls. Um, one but with, what, um, hay or sometimes yarn string, you know what I mean. But I find the yarn dolls very, very my favorite. Yeah, I, I do make them. Uh, they are absolutely ha hand. You know, they're they're done by hand. <laughs> so, but I find the yarn dolls my favorite. Oh, why? Well, just look at them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know it's very, very crazy. Um. Huh? What's that? Oh. Those. The ones with the, um, buttons on their eyes? Oh! Real people. Oh, no, 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 no. They are not real people. No, I I'm serious. They're not real people. <laughs> yeah, I know they are pretty, kind of, <laughs> quite big. But hey, um, if you always want a snuggle buddy, um, a snuggle buddy doll, it's always best, you know, I know dolls can be quite small. And I know sleeping with a silicone doll can be very uncomfortable. You don't want the plastic to jab on your ribs every time you try to cuddle it. So, huh? No, I'm telling you, they're not real people. Um, and those small ones are not made of real people. No, they're not. You're just... It's just your imagination, I promise you. I mean, yeah, I may be a wonderful doll maker, but there's no way in hell I would dismember any of people's organs and replace them with stuffing, turning them into dolls. And there's no way I would replace their eyeballs with buttons. That's quite silly of me. And that's quite very, very uncomfortable. Why would you think that? I mean, I know it is quite strange to see dolls that look exactly like people. You know one of those museums, uh, what is it called? The Wax Museum, you know, with these people that look really real. Exactly real, thinking you're literally meeting a celebrity. Or a music artist. <laughs> yeah, I, I know they just look like me. They're not real people. You can tell. I mean, their eyeballs are replaced with buttons. I mean, some of them are replaced by, you know, beady, uh, beady little eyes. You know, just very adorable. I, I promise you, they're not real people. So, if you, you can take a moment to look around, and if you found the right one, uh, you can call me. And... I will be on my way. So you can take a little gander around. That's certainly fine. But oh, before you do that, um, can you do me one favor? Is turn around a bit. Yeah, I do. I just want to measure you. Oh no, Reed. Oh no, no reason. Uh, I just want to measure your height and your width. Um, <laughs> I just want to see how tall you are and what is your clothes size. Ah, yes. 
Oh, no, no, nothing. I know, it's really weird. I'm very sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just curious about your height and your width, and I'm also curious about your clothes size. And can I see your eyes? Yes. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, cool. Right, um, now one more thing. Just close your eyes. I want to do a little trick. And just breathe it in. Smells good, huh? Oh! <laughs> <sighs> that was easy than I thought it would be. Finally, it's been a while since I found another doll to make. <laughs> so, let's begin this process. Oh, you're awake. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, it won't be. It'll be the last time you're gonna be using your eyeballs, anyways. It'll be the last that you're gonna be able to see. And it might be the last for you to live. Yeah, I know I did strap you down to the table, but I did this so you won't get away. So, you remember you thought it was strange that I used people as dolls? Meaning, I basically turned people into dolls. Let me rephrase that. Yes. I had to lie just so you won't get away, and I lied enough for you to trust me. So, it is very, very wonderful, because I'm about ready to transform you into a doll. Oh yes, I'm pulling buttons on your eyes. You don't need those peepers. Besides, it's really... Oh, it's really kind of strange that you have real eyeballs. Nobody wants to buy you anyways. Dolls with real eyes? No. I'm going to replace your eyes with buttons. As soon as I cut open your body and take out every single organ that's inside of you. And then after that... I'm just going to stuff you with either hay or cotton or some other stuffing. It'll be like a Build-A-Bear, you know? <laughs> oh, that'd be wonderful. I know, I know. <laughs> and maybe I will probably replace your skin with some different material. Because, again, nobody wants to buy a doll that is made out of real skin. So, you know, I might have to peel you like an orange. <laughs> peel every part of your skin like an orange and just dismember that and just replace it with some nice fabric on you. You're going to be a wonderful, you're going to be a beautiful, beautiful doll. And I can't wait for this moment to happen. Oh, now, uh, mm, you, why are you so loud? Here, let me take care of that. There we go. I'm just going to gag you because uh, I'm just trying to work on you and your screams. Your blood curdling screams is making my ears bleed. So, <laughs> Not, hmm. I guess gaggy is not gonna have enough. I'm just going to let me just grab this piece of cloth and tie that around your mouth. There we go. Now you won't be able to speak. You're just gonna muffle and probably do some muffle screams. Oh, let me do one more thing. Now, there we go. Now I want you to do me a favor and count backwards from 10 to 1 and as you count backwards from 10 to 1 you're just going to drift off into sleep and you may or may not wake up <laughs> so you shall kiss your life goodbye as you count down from 10 to 1 because as soon as you drift off to sleep because there's no way in heck I'm going to be working on you while you're going to be squirming and moving. Yeah, you are strapped down to the table, but 
I'm gonna be sewing fabric on you. Again, I'm gonna be peeling your skin like an orange. Because you don't need skin. Dolls don't need skin. I'm gonna replace it with a nice, beautiful fabric that you're gonna be very beautiful. Especially your face as well. So... <laughs> you shall count from ten to one. Or unless you need help. Oh, wait, you can't because you are gagged. How about this? I'll do it for you. Ten... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nighty night, and have a very, very long.